hi monsters and the rest of my youtube family welcome back to my channel and i am so 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 sorry that i have not been posting lately um i've actually been going through some personal things and i will hope that you guys just understand um and you know i'm trying to be as transparent and as candid as possible but it's hard um, trying to give you guys some content and, you know, living, you know, my normal life, you know, maintaining a career and uh, my home life and my personal life. It's just a lot of things has been taking a toll on me, but I am here and I am here to give you guys some Bring you guys in a little bit into my world as of lately. Oop. So I'm not gonna cut this video into segments or anything. I'm just gonna go right in, tell you guys what I've been going through um, and what's been up with me. So if you guys did watch the live stream of the um the restaurant um when we went to go for layla's uh layla celebrating layla's accomplishments um and we talked about some things with my viewers and um it was just a big coincidence because literally <laughs> The day after that live stream, I received some bad, bad news. Um, so let's rewind this a little bit. 2020 has been a hell of a year. Um, I will never forget 2020, but I will never forgive. 2020 has taken a lot from me, from all of us. Um, starting with the beginning of the year, we lost Kobe Bryant, right? Lost one of the legends, you know. Um, then in February, I found out that I was pregnant and I went to the ER because I knew something was wrong um just quick TMI like this is about periods and being a girl um my periods usually last anywhere from like three four five days tops but no more than that. So after the fifth, fourth or fifth day, I knew right away something was wrong. Um, the fourth day turns into seven days, which is a week. A week turned into two weeks. Two weeks turned into two and a half weeks. And at two and a half weeks was when I knew deep in my heart something was wrong. So I went to the ER. Now, I was nothing particularly like wrong. It was just a lot of heavy bleeding and clotting um, more than usual. So I went to the ER and they did tell me I was pregnant, but it was not a viable pregnancy. Um, that was the pregnancy that I was talking about in the beginning of the live stream from the restaurant. Um, from that live stream, some people ask some really tough questions. Um, questions like, oh, when are you gonna have another baby? And 
you know, uh, when you're going to give Layla a sibling and, you know, you've been invested in this relationship for so long. Why don't you have another baby? Why doesn't he give you a baby? Why don't you give him a baby? Blah, blah, blah. The questions go on and on and on and on and on. And it was mind boggling. And it was just crazy and a big coincidence how the day after that lies, I found out that I was having another miscarriage. So, the first one happened in the beginning of the year, and um, right before my birthday. And as you guys know, I was um, going to Miami for, uh, Mimi took me to Miami for my birthday. And then um, I came back and I had my monster birthday party, tea party. Um, Although I have may seem happy, I was still going through something emotionally. And I was still going through the miscarriage. So um, physically I was hurting, mentally, emotionally I was hurting. Um, the next month, COVID. And... I was still having the hormonal issues. I was still having nausea and the morning sickness, all of that. I was so emotional, I was so sensitive. Um, and then when COVID came, it was just making it harder for anybody to cope with anything during that time. Everybody just didn't know how to act. Everybody didn't know how to, to prepare for to be at home during a shutdown. It's just so much going on and then dealing with that and then dealing with miscarriage and its and its symptoms and then um fast forwarding a month or two after COVID had introduced itself. I lost a relative to COVID. Um, him and his wife were both in ICU and he didn't make it. And his wife woke up after being in a coma and woke up um, to find out that her uh, she no longer has a husband so my family was going through that then you know we can't attend the funeral so we just our families couldn't be there for each other so dealing with that and then um early this early summer I lost someone very dear to me. He was more like a brother. We shared a lot of the same likes and habits. And, oh my God, he was just like a, my twin, you know? Um, we, sh we have the same love for our eagles. That was the one thing that one of two things that we bonded around was the love for our Philadelphia Eagles and the fact that um, we both suffer from depression. And if you guys watch my depression video, I've been through a whole lot. And I overcame a whole lot. <clears throat> He was my support system for miscarriage. He was my support system through um, family deaths. He was my support system through pandemic. I mean, like he would hurt anyone who who thought of hurting me, like in any way. Like he was so protective, overprotective of me, and you know. Um, 
if you guys follow me on IG, you would see that I, I did his eulogy um, at his funeral. And it was hurtful. His death took a toll on me. Um, because we did share a lot of thoughts around depression. And that was one thing, like, how do we get through this? Like, how do we help other people who's going through this? How do we help each other to get through this? Like, he was like my partner in crime. And then for him to be just taken away from me, it was just like, why am I still here? You know, like, so then in a month after that, or shortly after his funeral, I went to California. Um, it was a trip that I had already planned for quite a few months because everybody knows my heart belongs in California. I go to California at least three, four times a year with, for the last four years, four, four or five years. I've been going to California. Everybody knows like when I take my California trip, I always go by myself. I get an Airbnb by myself or a hotel or whatever and I just let the plane in the wind just take me over there and I just go on this like spiritual guide journey I don't know what California did to me but I it just brought me so much peace um so with everything that had happened up until that trip I felt like that trip meant a lot more so I reached out to my dad and I got to see and spend time with my family. So if you guys went back a couple of um, videos, I did do a vlog on my LA trip. Um, and it's just where I wanted to be. And with everything going on, like I just wanted to just get away. Felt like I was going through a midlife crisis, bought a dog, named her Callie. Um, Mimi hated her. <laughs> oh my God, Mimi hated that dog. Um, and now she's there. So one of my good friends, one of my support systems, like, you know, someone who was helping me through this whole entire year now took up and left to California herself and now starting a whole brand new life in California. So everything is still connected to California. Um, took that trip, I had an eye opener spent some time with my dad, spent some time with myself. Of course, I've seen my best friend who lives in California, spent some time with him. Um, but I was still, no matter how many times I take trips by myself, I like, mind you, I like to travel by myself. So as many times I took trips by myself, I'm still trying to find myself. And fast forward again, I am going through one of the most biggest heartbreaks of my relationship life. Um, eight years, I, we, we, we have invested eight years and we're good right now. Like we're cordial, we're, we're awesome co-parents. And even though he's not Layla's real father, he I can't ask for a better partner. I cannot ask for a better co-parent than him. Um, we're making it work. But with the holidays approaching, like not being able to be around family, not being able to be around friends, um, and my support system, I felt like I was back in my dark space again. Um, spent Thanksgiving with my family, but usually, you know, for the last seven, eight years, I was spending it with my family and then we were bounced to my in-laws. So it was different, especially now. It was more understanding because of the pandemic, but then going through that heartbreak and still being able to co-parent and finding out that you're losing another baby. 
not even knowing that you're pregnant. But every pregnancy is a wanted pregnancy. No doubt. No doubt. If I was pregnant tomorrow, today, I would, I would keep it. But, um, that makes it my second heartbreak. I mean, I'm sorry, second miscarriage this year. And one of many heartbreaks that 2020 has given me. So going into the holidays this year, Layla is spending it with her father because we switch years or we switch holidays each year. So this year I had it for Thanksgiving and he gets it for the winter break. Um, so she won't be with me. And then I'm going through this big breakup trying to make sure that the transition is as smooth as possible. Still trying to figure out what we are, where we are, but it still hurts. Um, and then having to spend the holidays by myself. You can imagine what I'm going through. But uh, I'm still so hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm faithful that I'm going to get through whatever this is I'm going through. Um, And then the week after, thing, I mean, um, Christmas is also New Year's, which is also <laughs> our anniversary. So you can imagine how the holidays is really hard. And I haven't gone in the holiday spirit this year, like, I've cried so much this year. I have fallen on my knees so many times. I've been praying to the heavens. I've been praying to my grandparents. And I know you guys, like, I know you guys from my old videos, you guys tell me, like, Give it to God. Give it to, you know, to Christ. Give give everything. Put it in his hands. And I'm just like, you guys have no idea how much I've prayed. But 2020 has been one of the worst years of my entire life. I've lost so much in one year. It was so hard to move on. So hard. So I isolated myself from friends, from family, from social media. I put on a mask when I didn't have to. It was just, it was so much. You guys just have no idea. But I refuse to accept defeat. I refuse to accept anything less than that. I rebuke it. I rebuke defeat. I will never give up. I'm never going to stop dreaming. I'm never going to stop going. I'm never going to stop. Like... Defeat is not an option for me. I've came so much and so far and I believe in myself. Like, I didn't come this far to give up. I wasn't given all those battles and won them just to give up now. But it is hard. I've cried so many times. I don't even have any more tears to cry. It's so hard. And I've fallen on my knees so many times. You guys have no idea. But I want to keep going. I'm a fighter. I am loved. I am surrounded by love. And I will be loved. 
and I will love and I will find love and I will love hard. So I say that to say that ending 2020 and going into 2021, like I am still going to be hopeful. I'm still going to be faithful and I'm going to still try to find myself wherever she is. I'm going to find her. Um, I know you guys reached out to me in my other, from my other videos. I've received so much love. I've received so many messages telling me and asking me for my advice and telling me they're sharing their stories. Like for you guys to even trust me with your stories and trust me and trust me to help you like you guys have no idea how great that makes me feel like I'm so grateful I'm so appreciative of all the love that I've received um I'm, I'm like I want to just to thank you all I want to thank my family my friends you know my daughter my just everybody who has my back like you guys have given me my rope when I was at rock bottom and it's you guys it's you that that have supported me it's my friends it's my family my daughter who did not allow me to make rock bottom my home and I thank everybody I'm so appreciative of like everyone that's in my life whether I know them in person or not like you guys have no idea how appreciative I am. Like, I'm so grateful. And I will always remain humble. And I will always fight, keep fighting. And I will always keep fighting for you guys. Like, if you need somebody, um, you can still reach me on my Instagram. Like, I've tried my wholeheartedly. I've been trying my best. And I'm still answering messages from that video. From my depression video. Like, I'm still answering those messages. And I'm sorry if I haven't gotten to you yet, but I am promised like I'm gonna read and help every single person that reach out to me. So if you guys in my arms and my heart and my ears are still open for you. If you guys feel like, you know, you guys are going through something, please, please, please feel free to reach out to me. Like I am gonna like, help you the best way I know how I will try my best like but do not ever give up so reach me on my email you can reach me on Instagram at Connie.monster my email is Connie Sun S U N 19 at Gmail you can email me I have tons of emails that I'm still going through as well like I've never seen how much support that I've received so much love and so many stories like I thought I was like I don't know like I felt like that was like my calling for to help people and I didn't know that my story can change a lot of lives and can help somebody through but just because I was diagnosed with depression doesn't mean it's a part of me. I don't choose it. It will not win. I'm going to get through it. Defeat is not an option. Depression is not an option. It's a constant battle, yes. But will it win every battle? No. And it will not win the war. I promise you. So. I don't know. Where my life is going from here. I'm just taking it one day at a time. But I'm still healing. And. Physically too. I really am still healing. But I'm also emotionally still healing physically still healing 
And I'm still going to keep a smile on my face no matter how much I want to cry. I'm going to still put a smile on my face and continue with my journey. Because my journey is not over. It's not. My purpose will be clear. But my journey is not over. Don't know what the destination is yet, though. I hope it's sunny and bright. But it's not. It's far from over. Far from over. I hope and I pray that my story reaches people. I hope it helps people. Um... If you guys were wondering where I am, that's why I have been MIA. <laughs> um, I'll get back to me. I'll get back to Connie when Connie's ready. So um, if you guys don't see me on social media, if you don't see me posting, I'm okay. I'm just trying to deal with me me dealing with me i'm not too far behind i'm not too far away and if you still want to write me i'm still going to read it just because i don't post does not mean i'm not going to read my messages so please feel free to reach out and know that i love y'all and i am signing off i love y'all so much like subscribe you know do what you do and i hope you guys have a blessed holiday season and i pray that you guys have a blessed holiday season and i love y'all spend your time with your families you know whether it's virtually or in person however just love on those who love you Okay. All right, guys. Mwah. I love y'all so much. Give me hugs. Give me hugs. Give me hugs. <laughs> Peace.